With this video, I'm going to show you how to make a living hinge uh, using Texoft. So with this CAD package that we use, we're going to use uh, the living hinge to make the material more flexible. So you can apply this to plywood, MDF or acrylic. Uh, I'm going to show you just a basic way of doing this. If you do Google a living hinge, you'll find there's loads of different styles of living hinge. Some more creative than others. So if you are looking at extending your marks and increasing your grade, you can create a living hinge by all means, but there are ones that have different designs on there which you can look at as uh, for you to get some ideas to improve your grade. So to start off with, you need to work out the length of the hinge. So I don't know that, so I'm just going to um, make a, a rectangle. So that is going to be the size of my living hinge. Now if you're going to go around a circle, you need to do your maths and do your diameter uh, times pi for that to get your diameter, uh, sorry, your uh, circumference. So you, you'll need to do that. Now, as you look at this hinge, you'll notice that the gaps are closer together. So you'll need to adjust the grid accordingly. Now, we've done lots of designs where we've used 10 mil as a gap, and you do get a degree of flexibility in the material, um, but you won't be able to wrap it around a circle, unless the circle is very large. So on here, I've had students in the past go down to one millimeter, two millimeters. But for this example, I'm just going to choose five millimeters. So I'm going to change the grid to five millimeters on there. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a line from top to bottom at various stages to break up the material. So my line is 60 from top to bottom. So if I click here, I'm going to go down uh, 15, up 15. And then on the other line, I'm going to go down the middle. Now that, you can see the consistency there. So I'm breaking the line, giving the wood or um, plastic some flexibility. Now this pattern needs repeating all the way up. So if I do that to start with, once you've got your pattern started, we'll start to uh, copy the pattern. And this method is a quick method of assembling your living hinge. One of the common errors that occur is this, is making sure that you get the equal spacing. So here I've moved the lines too far up, so move them back. So always check the spacing of your line. And as you move across, I move it too far. Again, there we go, move that back. And then you progressively go along the length of the material until you're happy with what you've produced. And making sure you check the consistency all the way down. There we go, and then the end two, I don't need to delete that. So that will give you a degree of flexibility. Now, depending on your shape, you might need to change the dots so they are one or two millimeters apart. I think on this example here, that might be the case where they've done one or two millimeter gaps. But that is how you create a living hinge. 